It's a Thursday morning, it's really early and I'm going on a big adventure. I've got some panniers to pack, a load of kit to put in them, uh, and one KTM 990 that's ready to go. I'm in a rush, because you're always in a rush when you're going on an adventure. And I've also just noticed that my chain's really slack, so I'm gonna quickly tighten that up, and then we're gonna get on the road and go meet someone. Ooh, who could it be? Boy fact. <laughs> Mr. Season, how have you been? It's been good. <laughs> Just to do your hair first, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been good. I've forgotten what this riding lark's all about, though. I know. I know. So this this trip we planned like last night we went should we just go riding yeah <laughs> so we're off to the peak district where i don't know we've booked a bnb we've thrown some stuff in a bag and by some stuff i mean i've put zero thought into this so i've got i've got some nothing. stuff in the bag <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally nothing uh, but we're going to head up to the peak district on a nice scenic route up and we're intentionally taking our time because there's loads of you that I see on the internet. They go, oh, I did 4,000 miles today. I don't care. I want to see, see the world and, yeah, yeah. and take in the coffees. So we're going to do that, head up that way. And then once we get there, hit the trails, hit the tet. Hopefully not hit, but ride Hope, it. Well, I'll hit it. I always fall <laughs> yeah. off. But yeah, I'm going to go get a coffee now in this Starbucksy place over here. Out of the way, mate. There. Uh, and then... <laughs> just... are, we on, are we on a GS then? <laughs> we're, no, we're not on a GS. In? <laughs> I've not seen you for ages, mate. Just stick on your phone, don't worry about it. I'm chatting to YT, he's more important. <laughs> <laughs> We're connected. I can hear you coming in my ears. Oh, you're coming through loud and clear. But the best bit is, these people, these viewers, can't hear you. So whatever you say, I could just type anything on the screen. <laughs> yep, yes, I agree. <laughs> right, let's get some fuel and then let's get this show on the road, big boy. Three, two, one, go. Having not ridden together for a while, this weekend was bound to contain much stupidity. With fist bumps and general hooliganism right from the start, I think it was fair to say that we were a little bit excited. Andrew, are you excited? <laughs> Today, there was no rush. This gave us time to stop at one of my favourite places to grab a bite to eat, Caffeine in Machine, where luckily for you viewers, I forgot to turn my camera off leading to this amazing film work. All right, which one do you want, mate? I had the salami and thyme last time and you had the... We had one of them with the salami and thyme. Oh, we're still filming. <laughs> <I want> them... <laughs> now, all that was left to do was to aim north, enjoy the views of the countryside, and find a tunnel to let the world know we were on our way. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what cheese it's not, it's not. It's not the same one, but cranberry and orange. I'm used to love cranberry and orange as well. So I'm gonna now force feed you cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do I have to eat it now? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually explained what we're doing yet. So oh, we've, we've oh. took a slight detour. A uh, detour to a place called Hartington. Because as we were riding, seats suddenly said through the, my little earpiece. Oh, I know we are. I used to come here with my mum. So Seats's mum's sadly not with us anymore, but you used to come here a lot with your, yeah, yeah. With your mother, didn't you? Yeah. To... She used to love the Hartington cheese, well, the old cheese shop in Hartington. Uh, so we thought we'd take a little diversion and pick up some cheese. I mean, Seats's mum was one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Uh, so I'm happy to be force-fed cheese <laughs> on this occasion. <laughs> You're not leaving until you've eaten all of it. You've got to eat your cheese, boy. <laughs> go, for, go for it. Eat cheese. Okay. 
Mmm, that's nice. Just see, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what bike adventures are all about. Not riding for thousands of miles, chilling out <laughs> and eating cheese, apparently. <laughs> Buy a nice brown pond. Mm. There you go, the ducks are coming now. Look, they want some cheese as well. Now they can duck off. <laughs> Sorry. Ducks. Being sociable again. Yeah. Such a lovely day. Such a lovely way. <laughs> Giving it up at the hotel, California. Do 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 do. Anytime. <laughs> I don't even think they're the words, but never mind. The viewers won't care. They'll just be happy at our lovely singing. I don't think I'll be able to pick this bike up again. There we go. We arrived early evening at our very quiet B&B which highlighted just how loud our bikes were. Oh my god, these bikes are so loud. And having disturbed the whole neighbourhood we found a spot out back to park up. Only here did we realise just how lucky we'd been with our gashed planet. We're here. One of our bikes is a bit hot. Yeah, mine. Well, they have to the red route. So it goes through the village and looks back up around what looks like that wood there. Considering we did zero planning, we've done alright. We, <laughs> we've managed to get a B and B slash hotel, whatever you want to call it, on the tet. Yeah, yeah. Done alright, haven't we? <laughs> Natural talent. We've nailed this, buddy. Because it's six o'clock now. We left the fuel station at twelve for a two-hour forty ride, and we've got her at six o'clock because we just took our time. <laughs> That's been good, hasn't it? We've arrived at dinner time, so we've got to get some, get some food and get some beer. Dinner, dinner, Batman. And uh, yeah, the Tet is quite literally two streets away, so. <laughs> I, 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 we should just stop planning. <laughs> yeah. Just do it like this just, from now on. Just wing yeah. it. <laughs> I like this winging it, it's good. <laughs> With the bikes put to bed, we checked in, had a look around our uh, modern bedroom, and seats found us something to eat. That's upside down, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't get the start. Uh, yeah, so we're just sat having a beer, thinking about what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, we've not done any planning for this trip. We have literally turned up and we're just winging it. So we're going to have a quick look now at the map and see which way we're going to go. We're either going to go up or down. And I think we might actually toss a coin because that sounds like about the right amount of planning to do for this trip. So we, effectively we're trying to pick up the Tet, so the trans Euro Trail. Uh, we're in Iam at the moment, which is about here. Isn't Ollie's not moving the camera? He's no, probably going to do a piece of camera on that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Actually, buddy, I'm going to do an animation. So yeah, this weekend we were riding the Tet in the Peak District, just here, staying in Iam or Eam as I think it's actually pronounced. And as we pointed out earlier, the Tet quite literally wraps around the village. We had two days to ride with two options, and as we were feeling undecisive this weekend, we handed the choice over to Queen Lizzie, who chose... Uh, tails. Which to us meant we were going to head... Yeah, you'll find out in a bit. Well, we've had our food, and uh, <laughs> we've decided to, instead of sitting in the bar, to retire to the boudoir. And I mean, it's, oh. it's like your nan's bedroom, this, but it's very, it's very, very cozy, cozy, very warm. Uh, but tonight we're going to watch Matrix 4, which I've heard is shit, And we're going to chill out like the two male lovers that we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just disappointed that it's twins. It's not a double, <laughs> we, we'll, we'll, we'll push the beds together in a minute. <laughs> we are going to go south. It's broken. South. south. We're going to go south yeah, tomorrow, south. ride until we get bored, and then aim to be back here for about six. So that's the plan. Definitely not a hooky copy. <laughs> <laughs> Start of day one then. Having left the hotel car park, it was only about 30 seconds before hitting this trail. We really had nailed it. And today we'd be riding as a three as our mate Ollie Crowey, who owns Wrench Ride, check them out, lives nearby and had popped over to join us. I could just tell that today was going to be good. The sun was shining, we were fresh and raring to go, and even though this first trail was a little bit cheeky, we are riding gods. So obviously we're gonna make light work of it and look amazing on camera. Ha ha ha!
Oh, that's a good start, mate. At least it was all on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, why would you go so slow on a corner? <laughs> I said I'm hit neutral. I couldn't get it back to gear. Oh god. <laughs> <sighs> Me. Welcome to Bodge Take. <clears throat> oh, it turn it. <laughs> Can you get it out now? <laughs> you absolute <laughs> weapon! Look. I've got wildlife. I've got a little worm in there. <laughs> <laughs> now approaching lunch and as Seeks and I get very hangry if we're not fed we decided to go and find the nearest main road to find the nearest town to eat at the nearest place that did food. That town was Buxton and that place was Weatherspoons, which was Ram by the way and I remember turning a lot of heads as three noisy bikes all covered in mud parked right out front in the sunshine. It was lovely. Lovely mate. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I know, I know! I thought we'd have started with laughing the head off! It'll wash off. Ollie had told us that the afternoon was going to be proper ball, I tell you, and he wasn't wrong. We started off on this quick but loose gravel trail, which is a lot of fun on a big 990, but the trail soon got a lot trickier, which made sure to burn off a few of the chicken burger calories. <laughs> Shooting off to get lunch meant that we'd missed a few trails in the morning, and there was one that Ollie and Seat said we really needed to go back to ride. So after navigating through a load of water, just because every bike video on YouTube needs a few puddles to make me look all ADV, we found it. That trail is known, to Google Maps at least, as Pindale Road, and it's a cheeky wee climb with a few rocky bits to keep you on your toes. I don't know if we looked cool or not, but I do know that a few folks stopped just to watch us go past, and although it's only a short little trail, it's definitely one to aim for if you're in the area. Ignore the signs though, they lie. I always try and stay quite passive on camera, but this annoys me. So someone's put this sign up, which when you look at it, you'll think, oh, I'm not allowed to take my bike down here, and we just thought, oh, we're not supposed to ride up here, because we're just sort of blindly following the tech, which I know isn't strictly uh, what we should be doing, but we are. That shouldn't be there, because it just says, if you ride in a manner that is an offence, uh, or if you cause alarm. So, essentially, that's a load of nonsense. Nice one, Derbyshire Council. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, highlight of the day coming up then, and this cheeky little trail heads down to Three Shires Head. It's technical on a big bike, and what you're about to see is seats doing a good job, and me, well, not so much. This is a nice little seat on track, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was having a nightmare. Riding tired sucks. So feel free to call me an idiot next time you see me. <laughs> Keep stalling. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do for a photo, mate, eh? <laughs> Jesus! I've been on every uh, every single cardinal now. <laughs> Can you do mine as well? <laughs> no. Go on, you're going to do it then. Oh. There we go. So what we decided to do, Ollie? Fly the drone. Bring in the drone! <laughs> Stand in the drone! Things like that! <laughs> it's just Austin Powers day now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Not seeing Austin Powers, we're going to have a clue what we're on about. <laughs> <laughs> Every adventure video also needs some drone footage. So here's some lovely shots of some bikers stood on a bridge, definitely not blocking the bridge and getting in everyone's way, before we saddled up again for the fun climb out of there. <laughs> I've got amazing hand pump. Your camera's wonky. I, uh, my hand held onto the bar, I wouldn't let go. It's like, come on. <laughs> I'm definitely not out of breath. As soon as you hit any rocks, it wants to pull you. Yeah. But how the hell I did that on a 790, I do not know. That is a good trail, I like that. Ollie, I reckon you did what I did, closed your eyes and held on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think it's better when it's wet. When it's wet? Yeah. Are you sick? Uh, yeah, because I think you get more traction. The, the rocks are so loose today. Yeah. Because literally all the track is, dr is born dry. So as soon as you hit anything, like it just wants to move. If you have no idea what he is talking about, don't worry, neither did we. Back into the open terrain then, and the views were lovely yet again. The trails at this point threw some big holes our way, which made me give myself this advice. Don't fall in the hole, don't fall in the hole. And also included some really fun rocky descents that made you work, and some gates that made you, um, act stupid. <laughs> Shoot me with your chest gun! Uh, yeah. I was trying to get your attention to film us going across there, uh, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> it was now coming up to five in the evening, so time to head back. Seeing as the trails basically went past our hotel, we retraced our steps from the morning, this time managing to stay upright, and descended back into the village of Ayam or Eam to de-kit, grab a beer, re-energise, and laugh at just how rubbish we'd been today. Whatever you like. Oh, you've not got much space on your SD card. No. 4K, uh, mate, isn't it? 4K, bro. Welcome Four. to Ollie Cat. 
Hi, we've got the camera. Ollie's not here, but this Ollie is. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, what have we done today? So we. we released the truck! <laughs> Send in the guns! What have we done today then? We've done, what did we say, about 97 miles. Yeah, about that. The trails have been awesome, the weather's been really kind. We all got the drop of the day out of the way nice and early, which you'll have been laughing at. <laughs> which you'll have all been laughing at at the start of the video. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really good. Bikes have behaved themselves, riders have behaved themselves, we've not rushed to get anywhere, and then we got to the point where it's starting to get a little tired, a little bit late in the afternoon. So we just had a little mooch back. All very gentlemanly. Yeah, I like this new chilled way of riding. It's almost as if we're just winging it and it's working. Yeah, so now it's time for a beer, I think. Right, day two. Hopefully this doesn't crash this time we have an intro. Oh. The plan today is to follow the Tet North until we get bored, head back to here, pick up our stuff, ride home. The bikes are just warming up. I mean, listen to that. These people are not having a lie on this Saturday morning. Because of these things. Are, we, are, we, are you filming me filming you now? I'm videoing you videoing me. Of course there's a gate. What's going on with this intercom, mate? The what? What's going on with the intercom? I was about to go in the You're like, you're going through like this. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Well, we're having intercom issues, but let's not that, let that detract from the fact. It's quite nice this morning. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, we're good. Hey, you are live on channel four. Please do not say or bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Fuel, done. Fuel for me, done. Some say that seats is cavernous. Did you hear what the lady said in there? Could you hear her through the thing? Yeah. The lady was telling me that some guy goes in every day, buys a bottle of wine, and steals one of her Costa cups. Got a random... I mean, that guy's got a problem. <laughs> if you're that guy and you're watching this, stop nicking her Costa cups. Today it was just the two of us, both on 990s, both feeling a bit leery and now able to ride at big bike speeds for the day. We had no idea what we would encounter, but it wasn't long until those awesome views came into shot again. And then this gate, which was seemingly the entrance to endless riding bliss. Oh, look at this, Seaton. This is the sort of trail we want. Bike full of fuel. Yeah. Loose sandy stuff. Let's get to it then, people. I mean, honestly, just look at this. Your next trip should definitely be to the Peak District. Today was always due to be a short one on the trails because we also had to ride back to our homes at the end of it. We chose not to hang about and film a lot, but instead to get to it, rack up some miles, and go and use these bikes for what they were designed to do. Big bikes for the win, all day, every day. Making sweet love to a mermaid 
the same bag. You got a sausage roll as well? Or? Yeah. Yeah, and two sausage rolls as well. I mean, I know we use the word epic and words like amazing and awesome, awesome. a lot, but that's what today has been, really. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? And we've been, uh, we're up north, right? So we're up north. <laughs> so so I'm, a, I'm offending every northern I know. So I've got myself pork pie, lad. <laughs> because I'm a, a southern fairy, I've got a sand penguino to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been awesome. It's half 11 now. And we've got a good four hour ride to get home later. So I think what we're gonna do is, instead of following the tech from now on, we're gonna hand pick some trails, probably go back to the ones we've done that were just awesome. And we forgot to film. And we forgot to film, because we've been pretty useless at filming. Yeah, do a bit of riding, pick up our kit from the miner's arms, uh, and then head home, which will be boring motorway. So we're gonna eat this, this stuff, get back on our steeds. Oh my God, I'm breaking things here. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and do a bit more riding before we head home. Is there anything you'd like to say, Andrew? This sausage rolls mecca. <laughs> it was a very good sausage roll. Due to our chilled break, we were now a bit tight on time, so we chose to take the main roads to our hand-picked trails in the return leg and try to harass a few sports bikes along the way. This first trail has no name, according to Google, but it's just here. And although I don't normally do long riding shots, this trail kind of deserves it. I was 15 minutes alone when the voice said you'd better be ready. You'd have no place to hide to when they said this missile's on you. I was all about myself when I heard you'd better be ready. You'd have nowhere to run to when they said this missile's on you. I don't know why. Okay, lovely people, we are coming to the end of our peaks adventure. Oh! <laughs> We've got one more trail to do. Uh, it's a trail we did earlier, so when we were flying the drone around earlier, it's that one, but in reverse. I don't actually know where we are, so I'll put a map up now. We are just there, where the map's showing you right now. I think we're gonna have to start something called like, Oli Moto's Favourites. And yeah. this trail could go on it, because it is excellent. Should be fun. Okay, there's the trail, there's the beautiful weather, there's my beautiful friend. Hi! Hi! He's leaving! And the 990 is raring to go, both of them. Gentlemen, start your engines. This time, I'm gonna give myself more chance, this time. <laughs> I thought I was going to lean in. <laughs> Wait, we're going to do some clever editing. Look, watch this. Look. See? I don't know if my camera was filming. What? <laughs> there we have it. Finished. Peaks. Tet. Weekend. Mega. We've had a great time, as you can see. The weather's been glorious. The trails have been incredible. The bikes have behaved themselves. 
so yeah we're we're coming back we've not quite done all of the peak section so we've done a, a massive majority of it we got as far north as uh just south of Homeforth earlier on today so it's pretty good not bad going um yeah hey sorry i'm just being lazy i like it when you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're gonna just smash down the motorways now, so I'm not gonna film any of it because it'll be boring. I have to do all that YouTube stuff, don't I? So if you've enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe, all that stuff. It keeps me interested though if you do that sort of thing because then it makes me think people are watching my stuff and I make more stuff. Uh, but I think the last shot you're gonna see, well, two. There's gonna be one of us leaving this place and then there's gonna be one of us fist bumping when we separate on the M40 and then that'll be it. Enjoy. Let's do it. Got a little extra shot. <laughs> Just on the side of the M1. Yeah. Hello, darlings. I am doing my boat. Better. Burr. So I've not seen phone jacker there. I'm not <laughs> I've not got a clue there. what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> it was Brian Badonge. Brian Badonge. Better, darling. <laughs> Burr. Ali Moto.